Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Side Hustle Seattle. Now, if you're somebody who struggles with video editing, then this is definitely the video for you. So whether you want to make a video for, you know, personal, for content creation, for work, it can be incredibly overwhelming when it comes to just navigating different video editing tools. And there's a lot of them out there, but I prefer ones that are incredibly straightforward. So I wanted to introduce you to what I consider to be the best beginner friendly video editing tool that you can use. And that is InShot. I consider InShot to me to be like a great alternative for CapCut or iMovie um, if you're just looking to do anything from like basic to moderate levels. And it's incredibly affordable. So it's anywhere, I think it's like $18 for the year or it's like $50 for like a lifetime membership. And there's even a free version if you don't mind having the watermark. But InShot is what I use to edit all of my YouTube videos. And it's been great so far. So I just wanted to do a very quick tutorial on how it works so that way if you're looking for a very beginner friendly video tool this is something that you can use as well now i won't say it's perfect it definitely has some of its limitations but for the most part it's going to do 90 percent of the things that you want so let's go ahead and get started so i'm just going to very quickly go through and show you the basics of the tools so this is the InShot app and i'm just on my ipad so when you go through you can make a video a photo or a collage so in this case we're just going to go through and make a video click here and you can select which videos or photos you want to import and you can do one or you can click multiple and don't worry if you don't select them all right now you can always go back and add more so let's say i want to select these two and that'll automatically create a draft so if i were to go out of it and click out it'll make a draft for me and i can always go back in if i need to now from here let me just show you some of the basics so if you go to canvas over here in the left corner you can resize it. So I'm making a YouTube video, so it's 16 by nine, but if I was making a TikTok, you know, I can do the nine by 16 or an Instagram, doesn't matter. It'll help you get the sizing that you need. Now, if you go to the zoom feature, you can zoom in and out and the background, I can go to background and I can change this dead space or even upload a picture to be the background as well. So quite a few options when it comes to that. Now, once you're actually in the video, let's say that you want to go ahead and delete certain portions of the video. So the beginning right here where I'm just kind of getting set up, there's like, you know, five seconds or half a second where I'm not doing anything. Let's say I want to cut that out. So I can go like this. There's two ways. I can either drag this line and cut it out. So now the video starts here or what I often use, I will use the split feature right here and that'll split the video into two different videos and I'll select the portion that I don't want and just delete that out as well. So there's multiple ways that you can clip up the video. It's all very straightforward. And if you ever feel like you made a mistake, just use the undo button and get your work back. So don't worry if you've accidentally deleted something, you can always get it back. Now that I have that, let's go through and just see some of the other features. So something that people often use is text. So let's say you wanna add text to the screen. I can click this text button right here and I can go to text. So let's say I wanted to say like, now, welcome to my channel. Perfect. Now I can drag that across the screen. I can put it up. I can resize it. I can do a number of different things, right? Now, let's say that I wanted to change the text color. I can just go through and change the text color. Or if I wanted to change the border, which is this black outline, I can change the border. I can also add, you know, shadows, glow, and label is essentially this little highlighted section around it. So I can change the label or just get rid of it altogether, however you would prefer to do it. So I usually use the multicolored one. And so I'll just stick to that. And you can even change the way that the label shows up. So I can make it more opaque or rounded, however. And let's say that you don't like this text. If you go to the thing that says, you know, uppercase, lowercase a, go from there and you can change the type of text and how it shows up for each of those specific things. If for whatever reason you don't like the text that's currently in this Rolodex, click on this little shopping bag item and you can go through and pick which text you would prefer. And there's a number of other things that you can do, even like animate how that text comes in. So instead of it just being on the screen, as soon as I start the video, I can make it pop up like this, you know, or slide in or do a number of different things just so you can have some of that animation. So let's say that I'm happy with what it looks like. If I were to go and play the video, now it's going to show up like that. Now there's a couple of other things that you can do. So you can also go through and you can of course filter the video. So let's say I'm a little bit washed out. 
it's too light, etc. You can go and click filters and let's just go to filter. You can add different filters on top of it. Or you can even go to adjust and adjust the lighting. Or just do like the magic adjust for it to kind of auto adjust to give you the best filter. So I'll just do auto adjust in this case and I will go ahead and click the check button to apply it to my video like that. And of course, if you don't like it, you can always just click on it and delete it. So now we're good with the filters. Now from here, let's say that you were talking way too low in the video. You can simply click on the clip that you want to adjust the volume, click the volume, and put okay. the volume higher or lower. Now this video has two clips, this one and this one. So if I wanted, I can adjust the volume for all of them by clicking this double check line right here, and then it'll apply it to every clip in the video. So that way you don't have to go through and do it multiple times. Perfect. So now there's a couple other things that we can do as well. You can adjust the speed if you want it to be slowed down or sped up. Um, you can add stickers to it. So if you click stickers, I can go and add a sticker for my camera roll. So like for example, I'm talking about InShot. I can add this InShot icon and put it right on the side. Or I can add GIFs. I can add these stickers like this. So let's say I do editing. I can add this to the screen, I can go to GIFs, and I can add whatever one from there. It doesn't matter. There's a number of things that you can add to your video if you want to add them. Just simple and at your fingertips like that. Now, if you're somebody who likes to do B-roll, then you can do something called picture-in-picture. Picture. Now, picture-in-picture picture is this thing that says PIP right here, and essentially allows you to do video overlays. So let's say I wanted to do this. This is something I got off Pexels, which is what I used to get all of my copyright free, royalty free B-roll content. And I can resize it. And now when you're looking at my video, it'll transition into this B-roll. And I can cut it, make it smaller, delete it, and it'll just transition right back to my video right after that. So super easy to do. Now you can do more AI specific features. So if you go to effects, and we're going to go to AI effects. I can add some of this stuff to myself. Especially if you're doing like TikTok videos, these are great. You can also do some basics like slow zoom or jump zoom, which I love to use. And if for whatever reason that you do want to do an AI cutout because you want to replace the background, you can do something like click on this, click AI cutout and do the cutout and it'll cut out the background for you and now it looks like this and you can replace the background with something else so that's something that's also pretty nifty that you can end up doing now something that i love that they've recently done is now you can do automatic captions so if you go to text and you go to captions it'll automatically caption your entire video and you can go to default and choose the style of captions that you want so let's say i like the vlog style captions right there i can click yes start you know automatically scan my video and put the captions there and you can go back and edit those captions if need be so that's generally just how it works so and it's super quick and it's also like great if you want to add a little bit of captions and flair to your video so i can just go like this and as you can see they automatically pop up and if for whatever reason i needed to change the caption because it got something wrong i can just click into it and edit what it says as well. Now, the last thing I'll just show you is what it looks like when you do a transition between clips. So I have this video right here, and then I have this last clip, which is my typical end screen to my videos. So if I click play, it'll go like this right now. But let's say, for example, I wanted to make a transition. This little line right here, if I click that, I can add transitions between them. You can see what they look like. So that's more of a subtle one. I can do something like that. Or you can even spice it up and do a little bit of a spin. So you can do transitions between different clips just to make it more engaging for your audience. So now that you've seen the tutorial, hopefully you can see how simple and easy it is to use. Like I said, there are some very few limitations that I've personally found when using this tool. The first thing is there's no web-based version to the tool. So you have to use it on a phone or on a tablet. You can't use it on your browser. And sometimes that gets a little frustrating, especially if you're editing a very long video, doing it on your phone or your tablet isn't always the best. 
Another thing that I feel like is a limitation is they don't have like editing templates. So if you ever go on TikTok and somebody use like CapCut to edit their video, a lot of times you'll see this thing that says like, you know, use a similar template and you can click it, you know, automatically kind of load that template into CapCut. This doesn't have that. So you're always kind of like building the video from scratch. And the last thing I would say is a limitation is just the fact that the AI cutout that it has in it, it's good for photos but it's not as great for video. So let's, let's say I wanted to replace my current background and I wanted to do an AI cutout of myself, you would still kind of see some like, you know, a little bit of a line around me. So it's just not as crisp as it could be when I've noticed some other video tools are very good at that. But overall, it's definitely something I would recommend for anybody who just needs the basics to get started. And you can even do some more advanced stuff if you're a little bit more crafty. But anyways, let me know what you think of the tool. Have you used it before? What's your favorite video editing tool? Leave all of it in the comments. Thank you as always for watching. Catch you in the next one.